Yesterday, in a gruelling three-hour, nine-minute match, over 17 million of us tuned in to see Andy Murray beat Novak Djokovic in three straight sets and become Wimbledon's first champion uh, for, for us, for the Brits, in 77 years. And speaking exclusively, Holly is with Andy now live at Wimbledon. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. Yes, we are down here at Wimbledon. I am here with the champion, Andy Murray. Thank you on behalf of the nation for breaking that 77-year drought. Um, you tweeted yesterday afternoon, just after the match, you said, I actually can't believe what's happened. Waking up this morning, how are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I didn't get much sleep last night, but yeah, just relieved, really. Um, very happy as well, but yesterday was it was a tough day like mentally very very stressful and just glad I managed to win well today could have been a very different day mm -hmm. couldn't it well yeah I went through that last year and yeah. I was pretty much sobbing into my pillow for about two three days after the final yesterday so much rather be be doing this with the with the uh, with the trophy absolutely and how did it feel was there a moment yesterday during during the game where you thought I've got this or do you just can you just not let your brain go there I thought that when I was serving for the match, when I had three match points, but yeah. then the way the scoring system works in tennis, and two minutes later I was completely panicking. I went from having three match points to being break point down, and then yeah, the, la the last game was, was crazy, but yeah, I just managed to, to get through it. You, the, the pressure that you're under going in that, I mean, you have the sort of weight of the nation behind you as well. Um, everybody wants a British person to come in and win Wimbledon. How do you contain that? How do you not let that kind of bubble out on court? It, it's, it's difficult. I think uh, I basically don't watch much TV. Um, I, I never see the news. I don't watch much of the tennis. I don't read any newspapers. I try and stay off my phone and the internet as much as possible yeah. just so I don't see anything that's going on but I mean it is it's hard to avoid all of well, it. Well look at it now because yeah. it's all really really good. I know. <laughs> it's exactly. amazing every yeah. front page of every paper I mean quite rightly so. Yeah, um, sorry. No, I was on. just going to say yeah, I saw some in newspapers today and the coverage has been massive so I think when I actually won yesterday it sunk in quite quickly that I won Wimbledon but actually yeah. how big it was I think will take quite a while. Well, Chris Hoy said yesterday, he said, you know, Andy Murray, he, he is tennis here now. And and I thought to myself, I thought, gosh, you know what, that's, that's so true. I mean, that comes with pressure and responsibility, but also it, it, it's great because you've inspired so many. And we had it with the Olympics last year, but you just sort of think there's a generation of children out there now who would have watched that, my son included, who sat there glued to it yesterday, who will come up now and they will play tennis. How does that feel? Yeah, I mean, that's really one of the one of the most positive things that you can do with, with with your career. I mean, I hope more kids start playing tennis, but for that to happen, there needs to be all the right facilities and it needs to be yeah. more accessible for children to be able to play. So I hope that's one thing, one good thing that will come from, from winning Wimbledon. Um, the conditions yesterday on court, uh -huh. I mean, somebody was saying they were almost like over 40 degrees. Yeah. How did you do that? I mean, I was, was there were horrible. people who were being taken out with heat stroke and they weren't even playing. No, it was horrible. I mean, you could probably see, I saw a few points or highlights after the match and I was breathing so hard afterwards and it hadn't been like this at all the last six weeks. So it was just like, really hit you. The yeah. first, first few games was really, really tough and you know, physically, physically it was a hard match. You know, someone dislocated their arm by cheering for you so much. They went, yeah, so much that their in arm the, in popped the crowd. out. In the crowd, yeah. Oh, my God. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know it's that. True. That's a good effort. So I'm just trying to think what your next challenge would be. You've had the US Open, the Olympics, now Wimbledon. Could it, could it be popping the question? <laughs> Uh, I haven't planned it, um, but well, you couldn't never, say either because it would kind of yeah, ruin it. Exactly. Yeah. But we can't help but be nosy. You see. I only met you like ten minutes ago, <laughs> so I wouldn't be telling you first. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, but yeah, it's been getting close to eight years now. We've been together. It's a long time. Long time. And we've kind of taken her into our hearts as well. I mean, she sort of she's been there watching you, supporting you, looking beautiful, and you kind of you know, you're ours now. We sort of feel like you belong to us. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, she's, she's been with me since the second time I played Wimbledon, mm. uh, just after the first time I played, so it's been good because she, her dad is a tennis coach yes, and he right. travelled on the, he still travels on the tour, um, so she understands the sport well and 
is used to being away from her dad from a young age, so yeah. m understands that sort of distant relationship, and um, yeah, it's, it's worked well. How's your mum? Because I was yeah, looking at her equally, thinking the pressure on her must be extreme to watch your son do that. I watched the uh, I watched the last game with her last night, and after pretty much every single point, they kept going on to her, and it's. I obviously don't see it when I'm on the court, yeah. but the emotions that they're going through, like friends and family up in the box, it's amazing. And then rather than actually celebrating at the end of yeah. the match and being happy, she's just bawling her eyes out into someone's arms. So, just yeah, so she's proud. Pretty, pretty emotional. Um, there's been talk of a knighthood. Could you see yourself as Sandy Murray? I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people have asked me um, about that today and in the past, you know, if you won Wimbledon. But I think. It's more just because it's taken such a long time for someone to, to do it. Um, I don't know whether winning Wimbledon deserves a knighthood. Well, I think so. I'm seeing the Prime Minister and I'll give him a okay, nudge. Yeah, he'd do that. <laughs> um, if not, apparently the new slang word for curry is no longer Ruby Murray, it's actually an Andy Murray. Oh, nice. So you've always got that. That's good to fall back on when <laughs> exactly. my career is done, that's, that's good. As a career highlight, yeah. I imagine. Um, Andy, thank you so much no and worries. well done. Yeah. And it was just, I burst into tears yesterday, it was such a great moment for us. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Go and get some rest. I will do. Okay. Thanks, Holly.